Overclock at 3470. You can't overclock it because it's not a K skewed processor. If you overclock it, it won't work. Bite me! Hey guys, Joe here, and as you can see, I have a Intel i5 3470, not a K SKU processor overclocked from 3.2 gigahertz to 4.1 gigahertz. And I will say I'm doing it at a very cool temperature. Anywhere from the 30s to right about 50. Not bad, right? Even better, coming over to look at Cinebench, 575 CB score. Now, it's not as easy as just, you know, overclocking a K-SKU. It requires some thinking, but it's an educational experience for you. If you have any ability to overclock, you can eventually figure out how to get these things up to 4.1 gigahertz. And you get a score that, as you can see, my 532 score on a base non-overclocked 4690K is 43 points behind where I wound up with the 3470. And even with just light overclocking, it was jumping 552, 574, 575. So it's not hard to overclock. But the main thing I wanted to make the video for was, you know, you can't say that you can't overclock these. It's difficult, it requires the right hardware, but as long as you have a decent motherboard with a Z77 chipset that can overclock, you can do it. And you get a score that's better than a silly $130 processor for one-sixth the price. One-sixth the price for the processor. And then the motherboard, since it's a Z77 chipset, that one was 60 bucks, and you can probably find them cheaper on Craigslist. But for crying out loud, guys, don't believe people when they tell you things like that. Because there's always a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yes, if you use the stock Dell motherboard, you won't be able to overclock it. But if you take 20 minutes of your time, do a little bit of research, you can overclock two. And for your edification, I used base clock and CPU ratio overclocking. So it, it, it did allow for both. It, 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 it. With just the CPU ratio, you can go to 3.8 gigahertz, and then you have to modify the base clock in order to get the rest. On a plus side, it's stable, and I got faster RAM out of it. It took it from 1600, or yeah, 1600 megahertz to over 1800 megahertz just by doing that. And you'll be seeing a video on that system because that's PC's system of the month, May. You know what I mean words if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do that you can do it over here you can do it down there you can do it up there maybe i don't know click on stuff see what happens and over here you can watch another video and as always don't listen to the man and i'll talk to you later